all right y'all welcome back so um as you can see right here oklahoma sooners are the national champs they beat usc so we're gonna advance to off season and this is the off season schedule we got nine steps to go through but i'm only gonna show y'all a few i will probably show y'all recruiting um and maybe the spring game and that is it but for this particular video we're gonna go through school budget players leaving and we will stop the train at re for the moment so the school budget this is the school budget uh recruiting is at 34 percent training and discipline is at 34 I don't know how many points we will get for 34% recruiting. So um, let's do it this way. Let's knock training down there. Let's put recruiting because we need to recruit. No, we need to train also. We'll put that at 30 and we'll put that at 30. So we'll run it just like that for the school budget. All right. So all right, so these are all the players leaving either due to graduation or going into the NFL. So we are gonna have a lot of positions to fill. Just going through this list. And no, we can't bring anybody back. So let's continue. All right, man. So, start things off, man. This is the recruiting class that we are bringing in for the next season. Um, for those that didn't see the last video, I was fired from Appalachian State after I forfeited the remaining six games due to not wanting the remaining players to get injured and we just didn't have any skilled players to continue the season. So Appalachian State AD department fired me and there was maybe 13 jobs on the board to choose from, the only two power five conference teams, which one was Vanderbilt and the other one was Baylor out of the big 12. But anyway, we chose Vanderbilt. We're gonna run in the SEC and these are the recruits we are bringing in from this recruiting cycle. All right, man. So we got Mike Freeman here, free safety. He's the number, well, he's ranked 46 in the national ranking position. Um, now, how I do my recruiting. I really didn't want this guy because his potential and discipline is poor. So that means we're gonna have problems with disciplinary actions and potential he's not going to progress as I want him to. Next, we got a cornerback. Um, his tendency is balanced, Michael Mitchell. Um, he's six feet. Um, again, this was another player that I forgot to pay attention to discipline-wise, but his potential is good. So I kind of took a risk as 50-50 with that. But anyway, he got decent speed. The 40 speed is decent. And another thing that I really love about this cat is his field awareness is an A+. Plus. So the awareness is there. That's what I need at a cornerback position. Running back, we're not going to spend too much time on this running back. It is what it is. He's 6'2", 187 pounds, so he's pretty much a scat back. Runs a 4'4", and the 40. Um, not too much to say about that. This guy right here, he snuck through the radar too. Um, when you advance a week in these old um, NCAAs, if you have remaining points on your board, I think I used to have maybe two and three points left on the board, the computer will go in and fill in the spot with who they choose to. And I guess they gave this guy um, a scholarship and he committed that same week so I got to deal with it but anyway um he's a juco outside linebacker he got decent speed for outside linebacker at 4 5 his field awareness is an a minus his potential is poor but his discipline is good so you know it is what it is we gonna have to work with that 
Uh, I got another free safety. This one here, Brian Nixon out of Philadelphia. He's 5'11". Field awareness is a B. Potential is average and his discipline is good. That's what we need. Um, got a guard, Joe King, 6'5", 296. His potential is average and discipline is good. This was another guy that slipped under the radar because I did not put any points on this cat. So I'm assuming computer brought him in and I'm not liking what I'm seeing. But it is what it is. Um, and trying to rail. He's another guard, 6'2", 299. Potential good, discipline is average. So no complaints there. Um, another free safety, which probably be converted to something else because we already just this our third free safety in this uh, recruiting class. 6'1", field awareness is a C plus, 40 time is a full four, four, that's not bad. Potential and discipline is good. Cornerback, Sean Manning. Um, he's 5'11". Average and I mean, potential and discipline is average. His hands is in the can, man. That might be a problem, but his field awareness is right where I needed to be at a B. And we brought in a kicker because we needed one. And this guy kicking power is bad and his kicking accuracy. So I'm gonna have to find out where this guy's range is, man, because it ain't looking good. But they said as long as was what? Um, as long as it's 50 yards so man that's probably gonna be around the 30 30 30 yard kick maybe give or take but anyway we got this uh defensive tackle 63303 big guy to clog up two pretty much suck up two blocks to free up somebody else Potential is excellent, man. So I'm looking for big things with this kid right here. And discipline is good. Um, he's not the strongest. He only squatted 470 and he bench presses 395. So um, we'll see how that work out for us. We got a tackle here. 68 309. Um, potential good. Discipline good. Um, strong strength. 405 in a bench press and he squats 620 so this kid is tremendously strong so we'll see what we get out of that and that brings up the rear end of recruiting cycle so um now Vanderbilt is a one-star program so it's not like I can go out here and recruit three stars four stars five stars this three star we got here we was lucky to get him so it is what it is on that so man, um, we can look at the top classes. Top classes, we got Penn State coming in, ranked number one. They are the Big Ten champs. That's what they bringing in. Three five stars, 13 four stars. Mm. We got Florida State coming in, number two. Texas Tech coming in, number three. Texas coming in at number four. Oklahoma, the national champs. They're coming in with the number five ranked recruiting class. 13 four stars, 10 three stars. Man, I wish we can get some of this. We got Auburn coming in at number six. Wisconsin coming in at number seven. UCLA, number eight. Washington State, number nine. And the Pac-10 champs, USC coming in at number 10. So. There are no SEC teams other than Auburn in the top 10, man. So, those are your top classes, man. So, um, let's finalize it.